Rafael Nino, a student from Nimura Model Secondary School, S2. I'm here to present my true life story. Show me before we were staying in Uganda in a camp, and my, ha my father happened to leave us there when I was in primary two. He left us and came to South Sudan, and after that, she joined the army. So he left us there with my mom. And after that, my mom took us from there. She brought us to South Sudan here. We came and settled in Limule before she was surrendering. And she's just a warrior woman. She's shelling in the, in the, in the market there. And then she's paying our school fees, providing for us all our needs at home. And after that, reaching to 2014, when I was in PA, she also got, she also got married to, to a shooting man, and she was taken to Juba. She just left us alone at home. We are just children. I'm having two younger sisters and my one elder brother. Present for two, my brother is the one who is providing for us everything. Food, our school fees is the one providing us. And it's 2015. In the beginning, my brother stepped on a poison, and that thing disturbed him for five months. And we, I just feel like that there's no one helping us. I told my younger sister, the one who followed me, we should just look for something to get the money because there's not no one helping us. Now we start working in a hotel, we get money, we buy what we need at the home, we provide everything for us. And even our school fees for first time, we, I paid my school fees for first time. And recent, this year I studied recent to second, this year first time holiday. I also went back with my sister. We are just working in a hotel. And I work there. I get my, my, my school fees of second term of 2015. I, I reached the school and pay my school fees of second term. And Listen to that second time holiday, I felt I, I felt sick. Now I did not do anything. I listened to that time. Now I was disturbed by school fees, sent home, doing what. Now I, I don't have anything to do. If I was sent home, I would just stay and I come back. I was sent home, I stayed, I come back. And I went to the office. I want to explain those things. And my, my school pastor said, he will not, this one, he will not, he will not accept that. Because I didn't, I came late. I did not, I did not came earlier. And I wait when these people have distributed the money of girls, and I just take that money. I paid with my school fees of last year at that time, and the remaining one I just take home. We buy with it what we need at home. Everything to 2015. Now this year, the January. I even again start working in a hotel, I get the money, I buy what we need, what we lack at the home, what. And now, this one, reaching the school time, there's no one who is paying our school fees. And from there, I decided, I decided to stay at the home, but I cannot stay without the school. I just, I just, I just start remembering what. Maybe I'll just come and suffer in future if I'm not educated. What I'll, I may see people whom I, I might together and now what, what, but for me I'll, I'll, I'll just be suffering. And I just say like that. There is a woman, there my neighbor, that woman come to me. That why am I so these days miserable? I, I even explain to her I'm having problems. I explain those things. That it, there, there is a people who are sponsoring people, both boys and girls. I, I did not heard about them. I say I did not. But let me first go to school. And after that, I, I went to school. Immediately from the Dutch woman left, I went to school. I went to my school director and I, and I explained those things, everything, to, to my school director. And he told to me, what I can, what they can do? Let me just come and get 20 pounds. I go and register and I start. Let me start moving to school. And what they can do? There is an office here called RMC Ministries. They will send me here. Let me come and present my. Let me come and explain my problems. What am I having? And then they will maybe help me. And I say. And after that, the following day, I decided to come to the office. 
I came to the office and found those people there and I just, they asked me, I explained for them everything and after that they say I came late. They have already taken those people whom they need to, to help this year but they, they will say what to do. Maybe let me direct my, our home, they will come up to home and then after that they will see what to do. Yeah, I even directing them at the evening. They went to our home. They just found me at the home along with my younger sisters arranging my books. And they say what they have said is now true. They will come and sit down, say what to do, and then later they will call to me. And then after that, I came to them. They came, they, they give for me this one. And they give for me this one form. And I fill that form. And they say they will help me up to S4 and if from there I, I did well they will see what to do next and for this this these things I have to take I want to thank my God for helping me and I know in future I'll be somebody who is responsible. I have permitted RMC ministry to use this information and my picture to to donate money to support me and my fellow students.